a couple months ago, I was praying, and God told me to tell everyone to um, put their glasses of faith on, and I didn't really know what it meant until I dug deeper. So we all know that glasses help us to see clearly, and our glasses of faith will help us keep our attention on what things are from God and help us know the difference between the worldly things and the godly things. So my first verse is John 14, 27. Um, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and no, not be afraid. So we can't focus on what the world gives us, and this verse tells us that God will give us peace, which if you look that up, um, it says that it means security and well-being. So if we trust in the Lord, he will keep us safe and will give us protection that the world can't give. Through the trials, God will help us through it. We must remain focused on God's promise and know that we, he will get us through. God puts us through these trials to help us grow and teach us to stay focused on him. These trials that seem impossible to go through by the world standards are possible with God. And they may be used to lead someone to the Lord. Um, the verse also says, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This part of the verse reminds us to not be afraid of the evil and worldly things around us and to stand against them. As long as, as, long as you keep focus on God, nothing can tear you down. Um, Romans 8, 6 says, For the mindset of the flesh is death, but the mindset of the spirit is life and peace. If you focus on the way of the Lord, you will be given life and peace. With faith, we are certain to live with Christ forever. And if you read on to Romans 8, 9, it says, But you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the Spirit you, if you have the Spirit of God living in you. If you are doing the things that you know are wrong, you are allowing yourself to be controlled by your flesh and not the Spirit. Um, something that I saw, like, reading somewhere else said if it's pulling you away from God then it's not of God and that's always stuck with me um, these little things that you prioritize over spending time with God won't be worth it when the Lord tells you that he never knew you that's it <laughs>